Well, I really like the versatility of this. I mean, the AR, you can accessorize with everything. But I like the ruggedness and the reliability of the AK, and I like that, you know, it has a little bit more of a potent round to it. I wish they made both. What if they could marry them in one gun? <gasps> what the f Thank you for joining us today on the Bullet Points. Uh, today here with me is uh, Bill and Ted, and as always, I'm your good friend, Mr. Black. So today we're gonna be doing a review of the Facts and Firearms Iraq 21. So it's the AR AK-21. So it takes some of the features of the AK-47 and puts them onto the AR platform. So as you can see here, it's got the pivot pin and the takedown pin holes. So this will mate to any mil-spec standard AR-15 lower receiver. Uh, some of the AK features that this has is that it has the long stroke gas piston up here and it has an, actually has an AK-47 style bolt. A couple of the other good features on this is that it has an adjustable gas port regulator. So you can actually have reliable functioning with uh, different types of commercial ammo or if you actually get a bunch of crap stuck in the chamber here, you can actually just bump up the gas setting a little bit and it'll still function reliably. So this self-contained upper receiver has a uh, integrally machined um, 1913 Picatinny rail up top and as you can see there's a quad rail you know it has the other three ones are bolted on here so you can put on any types of uh, optics lights or uh, grips or whatever that you'd like the charging handles up front here actually folds in too for storage it's a non reciprocating charging handle so once you once you go ahead and charge it and you fire a round off it's not gonna go back like you know like the like the Kalashnikov will and another cool thing is too is you can actually mount it on the left side or on the right side. One of the other unique features about this upper receiver is that it was designed to change calibers very easily. So you can actually swap out from a 223 or 556 barrel to a 300 blackout barrel in about a minute or two. And all you gotta do is you just unbolt the bottom here, pull this little bottom rail off, slide the barrel out, put the new one in, and you gotta take the bolt, bolt carrier group out and you install this new recoil spring for the 300 and you're good to go. The cool thing about the 300 blackout round is that the casing is actually made from a 223 casing and it's just uh, chopped down about maybe about a third and and re-necked so it, you know, it fits a bigger round but still fits it takes the same same exact magazine same follower and everything because it's the same size another cool feature about that is the bolt for this is the same exact bolt that you're going to shoot the 223 or 5.56 out of that you are the 300 blackout so now this is uh, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and take this out of the field and give this a little torture test of our own uh, with both the 223 and the 300 blackout and give you guys the bullet points at the end. Alright, so we're out here with the uh, Iraq 21. Just going to shoot some uh, 55 grain uh, 223 through here and see how it works out. Alright, so I fired two rounds of. Uh, of 223 just fine so we're gonna see if this thing lives up to its name uh, ARAK get some spit in there some dirt simulate some mud seems to be functioning pretty well let's go ahead and fire the rest of this magazine off Yeah, it does rapid fire. It's pretty impressive. I like this. We're going to go ahead and go 10 rounds on its side with the ejection port very close to the ground. See if anything stove pipes or if it'll actually cycle all 10. Cycle 10 just fine. So now we're here with the uh, 300 blackout barrel in this thing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and test the 
you know, see how the zero is uh, compared to the 223. So we just, you know, we just did the barrel swap on it and uh, didn't, didn't change the optics. But we're gonna go ahead and kick some dirt on it. All right, definitely got some dirt in there. Yeah, as you guys can see, this thing's still pretty dirty in here. Uh, you know, it's still still firing. This thing feels great. The 300 blackout, you know, I actually can't really tell too much recoil difference between uh, this and the, and the 223. What a fantastic firearm though. Saxon Firearms did a really good job. Another cool feature is uh, when they shipped the upper to us, they actually sent these little rubber bands. So you can go ahead and pop these on your uh, 300 blackout mags. Because obviously the uh, 223 5, 5, and 5.56 take the you know like any kind of a uh, stand ag magazine you know, the pmag 30s or whatever um, but the 300 blackout utilizes those same exact magazines as well okay so we're going to play around with a little bit of uh, target acquisition going back and forth between these two targets up here Cool platform, I dig it. Fun gun. So now that we've had a chance to go ahead and do some torture testing on this, uh, throw some dirt into the chamber, I think it functioned pretty well. See, we had no failure well. to feeds, no failure to fires, and uh, no failure to extracts with both the 300 and the 223. Uh, you know what? Actually, very, very impressed with this uh, with this rifle. I think it, the only complaints that I would have here is that the top rail here sits about maybe about a half inch higher than a normal AR. So, you know, if you have an EOTech or a, an optic, you may want to actually get some, some lower rings for that scope or take off a riser that you have on your EOTech if you have one. Another thing that I was uh, kind of concerned about before we did the test here was having to re-zero the rifle after we did the barrel swap. And you know what? You know, kudos to uh, Faxon because this thing actually held at zero when we changed to the 300 round and it's really impressive. Another cool thing about the uh, the 300 Blackout that we forgot to talk about is that it has very similar uh, ballistics to the AK round, which is the 7.62x39. It's very similar, so you can actually get, you know, the, the knockdown power of the AK with this platform. So, you know, I, it's it's got the, you know, the, the functionality and the reliability of the AK-47, the adjustable gas system of the FAL, and it's all mated to an AR platform. I mean, what's not to love about this rifle? So one of the things that I really liked about it is the fact that it's extraordinarily versatile. I mean, you know, if you've got uh, a AR lower that's all dressed up with, you know, a really nice rear stock, maybe upgraded trigger, you know, those sorts of things, um, you know, that obviously carries over. So just by getting this upper, you enhance any gun that you've already got. Let's say you've got a handful of ARs that are built for different purposes. Well, with this upper, you can really multiply that. Um, so really neat that, you know, you can use a lot of the furniture and I think that pretty much everybody can agree that ARs are, um, you know, very, uh, very versatile. You can dress them up however you'd like. I mean, you know, I, I hear people call them like the Barbies for men because you can accessorize them however you'd like. Well, the this fact that you can take all of those things and put it into another still, weapon system now is really firing. cool. Um, Faxon did a really good job with this. Um, you know, the torture tests all, I mean, we didn't, we weren't going to just start smacking rocks up against it and stuff like that. So, you know, it's not as much of a torture test as some might do, but 
I mean, throwing dirt in there, spitting in there, firing it upside down, you know, laying in the grass, all sorts of other things, you know, it, it functioned flawlessly. Uh, not one, not one failure to extract, not one failure to feed, you know, I mean, that's a pretty quality built rifle and that's where the AK reliability comes into it. So, you know, for all the guys that, you know, argue AR, AK, and I know that's like the conversation has been going on forever, um, you know, this is a really good platform that kind of mates the two together. I'd just say, um, anybody new with this, just play with the uh, the gas piston system a little bit and understand that um, certain clicks mean certain things. And there was a couple of times where, uh, in between shots, I would, you know, fire and it wouldn't it wouldn't feed the next one because I had it on the wrong setting. So once you figure that out, then it's a, a pretty sweet platform. I really really enjoyed shooting it, and and again the the versatility is certainly there. To me, it's the perfect marriage of the AR and the AK. Mm -hmm. You have the precision, uh, more precision shooting. I know a lot of guys will rag on the uh, 5.56 five, round. You have more of the precision and accuracy of the the 5.56 five, affords you over the 7.62 by 3.9. You can touch out a little bit further distances. Not as much knockdown to, uh, power, but again, that's where the 300 blackout comes in. To where if you need to be closer range, you need some more stopping power. The 300 is pretty devastating. So um, this is a great, great idea. I love the non-reciprocating charging handle. Um, I love that it's ambidextrous, so you can throw it on either side. Again, it affords you that that ruggedness of the AK, which I love. Um, that's the only thing I always fault the ARs for, is that uh, you know a lot of the. A lot of the more expensive ARs we see out there on the market, they have tighter tolerances, which means that you, it doesn't take too much to start messing those things up. So if you get some dirt in them, if you get some spit, if you do whatever, like we're shoving basically mud into this thing, and again, it ran flawlessly. I mean, that's a huge, huge uh, uh, kudos to uh, to Faxon, like you said. I mean, that's I think they did a really good job with this. It's a great idea, but it's also it also works. We've mm -hmm. had lots of things come through here to review that are great ideas on paper, and then we get them, and they don't work so good. Um, this thing seems to work flawless so far in our testing. We're of course going to be testing a lot more in the future, but um, I'm, I'm a big fan so far. I give it a I give it a two Biden thumbs up. So for the actual for the price, it's actually a really good buy. You get quality quality parts. You're getting AK reliability, and you're gonna. I mean, you could you could pay a little bit more for like an LWRCI, and uh, you know you it's a that's obviously a great product. This here is a little bit different but you're getting a gas piston upper, you're getting crazy reliability and great accuracy, and you actually get to change out your calibers too. So, uh, you know, I think this is a great rifle, uh, great system, and stay tuned for uh, some of the other reviews we're gonna be doing. We're, uh, Faxon's gonna be sending us some other cool new products that they're making, and uh, we'll go ahead and do some torture testing on those too and see how they work out.